Welcome back. This is another story for you this week. It's for March 20 and it's called Artist or Doctor by Yuliana. Yuliana. She's from Russia. 16 years old. Yuliana wondered for a long time what she wanted to be when she grew up. You are good at helping people, Mother said. You should become a doctor. Grandmother also thought Yuliana was good at helping people. You should become a nurse, she said. Yuliana didn't like the advice. I don't want to be a doctor or a nurse, she said. I like to draw and I think I'd rather be an artist. One summer afternoon, Yuliana was walking home and she saw three ten-year-old boys swimming in a pond on the campus of Zayoski Adventist University in Russia. Immediately she worried about the boys' safety. The water was brown and filthy. Moreover, people sometimes threw garbage into the pond. Hey boys! she yelled out. That water! It's really dirty! It isn't a good idea to swim there! I know! One of the boys, Daniil, shouted back as he clambered up onto a small pier to jump into the pond again. My mother told me not to swim here. He jumped off the pier and plunged into the water. A moment later, he surfaced, shrieking. Panic gripped Yuliana. She wondered what was wrong. She saw fear in the boy's eyes and understood that something serious had happened. I'm hurt, Daniel cried, tears streaming down his cheeks. What happened? Yuliana said. Why are you crying? Daniel raised, his leg, uh, raised a leg from the muddy water, revealing a large gash in his foot. Yuliana was scared and began to tremble. God, give me strength to help him, she prayed silently. It was the first time in her life that she had seen such a wound. It also was the first time that Daniil's two friends had seen such a wound. They were scared and ran away. Daniil also had never seen such a wound before and it was on his foot. He was frightened. What will mother say? he cried. Don't worry about that. Yuliana reassured him, everything will be okay. Yuliana saw that the filthy pond um, water and worried that the wound might get infected. Quick, get out of the water, she said. It would be very bad if something bad gets into your wound. Yuliana helped Daniil out of the water and told him to sit down on the ground. But what could she do? She wasn't a doctor or a nurse. God, send someone to help us, she prayed. Help me not to faint. She looked around for help and no one was inside. Help! Help! she cried. Two adults appeared. We need a first aid kit, Yuliana said. The adults ran off and returned a few minutes later with a first aid kit. One adult placed a bandage on Daniil's foot. Then Yuliana saw a church member driving past and stopped his car. He took Daniil to the hospital. Later, Yuliana learned that Daniil had landed on a broken bottle when he jumped from the pier. Yuliana no longer wonders what she wants to be when she grows up. She doesn't want to be an artist who draws pictures. She wants to be a doctor or a nurse who helps others. I like to help people, she said. Part of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help Yuliana's Seventh-day Adventist School, Zayoski Christian School, construct its own building on the campus of Zayoski Adventist University. Currently, the school borrows classrooms from the university, and your offering will help the children meet in their own classrooms. Thank you for planning a big offering. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that story and learnt something about um, the boys and Yuliana, who was able to help. Take care. We'll see you next week in another story.
Bye-bye.